Hello everybody, on this video I'm going to be showing you how to transfer songs from the Boss BR1600 to your PC. I tried doing it on the Mac, it didn't really work for me, it could be that I just don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to show you how to do it from uh, BR1600 to the PC. It's very quick, very easy, and I will be doing that after this transition. Alright, I'm going to do the best I can here because I'm holding the camera. Let me get it in focus here. Alright, so... The Boss BR1600, as you can see, is all set up. I have a song that I want to export, so what do I do? I'm going to put my recording down here for my vocal. What you do is very simple, actually. You get a USB that is... I'm getting, you can see the mess on the floor. I was attempting to put some comics up and stuff, but it did not work out. Anyway, so here's the USB. It is not auto-focusing as it should, but whatever. And... Uh, I don't know why it's not. I have it on autofocus. I guess let me just do that. Here's a USB connected to the PC. Very easy. Oh my goodness, my room's a mess. Drink water, right? All right. So <laughs> all you're going to do is get this and plug it into the back of your USB. This is very difficult because I'm doing it with one hand. And I'm right-handed and I'm holding the camera in one hand. There we go. You can see my voice recorder. Phone, yay. All right. So, you're going to connect it real nice and tight in there. Very easy to do. Now, on the Boss BR1600, you won't see nothing happen. Um, but, here's what you do to get that going. Utility. Uh, you go, actually, you're going to see all the LCD song track all the way to where you see USB. Pretty self-explanatory. You click yes. Let me get closer and so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. There we go. You click yes or enter. Now you're going to have these options. Backup, recovery, import, or export. Here in this case you're going to click backup. You're going to see that it's connecting. My computer made a noise to let it know something is connected to it. So we are going to go to my computer and I'm going to minimize it. Alright guys, once you have connected your Boss BR 1600, you will see a window pop up. If not, you can go to your computer and right here you'll see boss or you'll see BR1600 CD very easy you click it bam wide open everything is open for you and here's the great thing all of these songs are from your boss BR1600 and they're all set up to be to literally be the exact way it, it is on boss BR1600 if you want to see what it looks like bam that's a lot of information um, now what I did here and this is what you would do either on an external hard drive or on your desktop you create a folder I did one here it says Boss Bear 1600 and you just transfer your song literally that easy um, this is highly recommended to do I'm, I'm doing it for this reason and I, su I suggest you do it too if you have the same problem when you're recording a song you'll see an error come up that says HDD fool it is the most frustrating thing because it happens during the song that you're recording. If you're like midway in a, an amazing guitar riff and you haven't cleared your space, that happens. It ruins everything. You're just like, oh, I couldn't figure out why. And of course, when I read the book, it really didn't explain. It just got, you know, transfer. it actually didn't say transfer. It said uh, try uh, erasing some songs. So... I was looking online, I really didn't find anything, and then of course I tried it myself. Very easy to do. Um, if you haven't already tried it, all you do is, like I said, the first step is connecting it, and it's just that easy. You transfer. Here's the beauty of it. Once transfer is done, you erase the song from your Boss BR1600 or from the file, and you have room. Let's say you want that song back. All you would do is plug it back in, boom, open up your Boss, open up your file wherever you're saving it at, that song, transfer it back to your Boss. Take it out, go to your boss, and what's amazing is it saves it the exact same way you had it. So, if you had your reverb to, you know, pan left, if you had your level set a certain way, all of that is saved in the song. You don't lose any of it. You ha So, you really don't have to be worried about doing this. It, it saves it. It's great. Um, once again, I recommend doing it for the hard drive, you know, for, for, for getting more room. But, you know, this saves up so much time. Now, as you can see, this is one song... It's 11 minutes it's taking. Most of my songs are mastered or have a lot of compositions on it, have a lot of keyboard or guitar or loops. And so if you have songs like that, it's going to take an extremely long time. So like when I was going to be transferring these, when I started transferring them, I did 10 and it was going to take 8 hours and 30 minutes. So if you don't want to wait that long, 
find the songs that you know have a lot of memory or songs that maybe you don't care about actually. Um, like for me personally, I'm, I'm gonna transfer them all, but songs that I personally don't care about, those are the ones I'm actually going to delete. The songs that I never finished working on or you know, I never could get a good rhythm for, those are the ones I'm going to actually delete. And the songs that I really like, I'm going to leave on the boss so I can keep messing with it. But that's my thing, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below. I know this video was pretty short, but you know, I just thought this would be a great tip. Thanks so much for watching, and I will leave you with me talking to you again. All right, so that was it. That's how you transfer your songs from your Boss BR 1600 to your PC. I told you it'd be very quick and very easy to do. So please, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, like the video. I'll be doing updates as far as the recording. Um, try to do it every week. Um, I'll also be putting at least one video up of a cover song and uh, if you have any suggestions leave it in the comments below but anyway thanks so much for watching please click that subscribe button and the thumbs up button or like button whatever it is now because YouTube changes every day so thanks so much for watching I hope you have a great night day weekend whenever you're watching this and I will see you on the next video